In this video, we're going to look at importing a data set from Excel into SAS, saving a permanent SAS data set, and then recalling a permanent SAS data set later when we want to use it for analysis. I've created a data set in Excel that has eight variables and 20 rows of data. You'll notice there are a couple different variable types in here. And I need to make sure that this file is closed before I start my import process. If this Excel file is open, when I try to run my import code in SAS, I'll get an error message and it won't work. So we're going to go ahead and close this file. And then we're going to take a look at importing the data into a temporary folder into SAS. And to do that, we're going to use PROC IMPORT. PROC stands for procedure. And when we use PROC IMPORT, we need to tell SAS three pieces of information. First, where is the file that we want to open? This is data file equals. You'll notice that this information is enclosed in quotes. It can be single or double, doesn't matter, just be consistent. The second piece of information is what file type we're trying to open, dbms equals. And here I have xlsx. Notice that it's the same as the file extension that's listed in the data file line. If you're using a different file type like .csv or .dat, make sure you change this information to reflect that. The last piece of information SAS needs is the out equals. And this is asking, what do you want to call your file once it's in SAS? And I'm going to call my file example. And that happens to be the same name as the Excel file. It doesn't have to be. It can be whatever you'd like. So we're going to close the syntax out with a semicolon, and then we're going to run it. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice up here in our log that the import data set has 20 observations and 8 variables, which is perfect because that's exactly what we have in our Excel file. You'll also notice there's code that, or there's a note that says, worked out example data set was successfully created. This work part is a library reference. SAS has a library called work, and if you go over here to the left and click libraries, you'll notice there's a work library, and if you open it, there's our example SAS data set. The thing about the work folder in SAS is that it's temporary. Anytime that you close out SAS, all of the things that are in the work folder will be deleted. None of them get to stay. So say we want to import our data from Excel, but also save it to a permanent data set at the same time. So to do that, we need to add a little bit of information to our code. We're first going to start with a lib name statement. Lib name stands for library name. And we are going to identify where in our computer we want to save files. So we say lib name, and then we name our library, give it a reference. And I'm going to call mine practice. You can call it whatever you like as long as it's eight characters or fewer. If you have more than eight characters, you'll get an error message. And then next to practice, I have the location of the folder in which I want to reference. So I want to reference this round one folder that's nested within these other folders on my H drive. And notice that it's enclosed in quotes. Again, single or double is fine. And we end this syntax with a semicolon because this piece of syntax stands by itself. The next chunk of information is exactly the same as what we used earlier, but with one difference. In our out equals statement, we have practice.example. And this is telling SAS that we are referencing the practice library, which we know and have identified up here as being this round one folder. And we're going to call our file example and then a semicolon. So let's go ahead and run that. Uh, notice we got an error here. It says library name is not assigned. Make sure you actually highlight all the code that you want to run before you try to run it. And this time it worked. We created our library reference as noted in the log up here. And we've also imported our data successfully. We have 20 observations and eight variables. Practice.example data set was successfully created. And to check that, we're going to go into the folder, round one, and here's our file, just as we expected. Now, if we want to open a permanent SAS data set after we've saved it, there are two ways in which we can do that. The first method is going to use something similar to what we use with the import in creating a library reference. So we're going to use a lib name statement to identify the folder in which we want to reference. And then we use data and set, these two pieces of information together, in order to open a permanent SAS data set. 
So the first one, data, is saying, what do we want to call this data set while it's in SAS? And we're going to call ours example two. End it with a semicolon. The next piece, set, is what is the permanent data set that you're wanting to reference, that you want to copy, basically, into the working folder? And here we have practice that example. And that's because we've named our, lib, our library references practice, and we've referenced it here. And example is the name of our permanent data set. So we can run this and it will open a data set called example2 into the working folder that's identical to the original example SAS data set we created. The second method involves just using data and set. You don't have to create a library reference. So to do that, you say data example2, again, just we're going to call our working data set that's in SAS example2. And for set, Instead of using any kind of library reference, we literally link it to the exact folder and the name of the file that's, that we want to open. So here it's you know, nested within the round one folder and the SAS data file is called example. Then we end with a semicolon and then we hit run. And either one of these will work. So for now, we're just going to use the second line of code. And you'll notice up here in the log, we have 20 observations read from the data set, and then here's the link to the data set. And that the data set worked out example two has 20 observations and eight variables. And we're going to check that again by going into the library and to work. And here's example two. Now say that we manipulate this example two data set, we add some variables, we deleted something, and we want to save this now as its own new permanent SAS data set. To do that, we need to create the library reference again. So we're going to do library reference, and this time I'm going to call the library Sunday. And this is the link to that library, the round one folder on my computer. And this time, for our data line, we want to say sunday.example2, because this is referencing that permanent folder on my computer, Sunday, that I've referenced. Uh, it's the round one folder. And then the set is example2. This is the working file that we're working out of. So we're going to run this code. And you'll notice up here again in the log, we get information about what happened. 20 observations were read from work.example2. That's this temporary file that we were just opening to do some analysis with. And now the data set Sunday.example2 has 20 observations and 8 variables. And we can, again, check that by going to our actual folder. And we can see here in round 1, that we've got another SAS file saved called example two.